When he comes from his sleep in the dusky havens to the squat foothills of Tsang, at the base of the dolorous mountain, ringed heavy with moisture and green and silence, to laugh, to feast, that insatiable visitation upon opulent flesh, the poems, the music will be as a hurricane, penetrating from life to life to life. Only bones and dim stains, the truth of dark chaos, shall he leave upon the rocks. In the empty space of his temple, cluttered with dust the winds have not swept away, and deranging secrets from moments long ago, his immortality measures and remeasures in dreams like illnesses, images tainted by time's grave of lustrous dark red currents of reluctant fragile things, rampant with ruins lesson. In the primal forest, dense of teakwood and bamboo, where stalking shadows like serpentine coils weave undulant textures, and even the great cat painted in orange and night-lined stripes fears to pad, all lesser creatures are loath to summon up their voices, or breathe, as the vapours of his inexorable hunger arise from the ebon caverns beneath. O elephantine-headed father of the Miri Negral and the Chocho man-demon, what doom-destined om sounds in thy vast webbed ears? What cosmic wheel spins, and in its ageless dervish rotations brings the days closer to the call to swift-running harvests unending? O oh, Shagna Faun, bloated feaster of jet tusks and conduit trunk, fattened on oceans of claret red, what darkling meditations dost thou beguile in, sitting lotus poised before the scarlet mandalas, so long ago employed as stepping stones to ford the cold heavens? O oh, grim legend of the East, slumbering on thy pedestal of falsome dreams aflame, awaiting the white acolyte's coming and thy journey from cold far corners. Wake from thy unbending contemplations, for the ripe fruit of your garden gleams. Rise from that perfect darkness to the dense woods of confused blood, dreaming of escape. Rise up, idle one. Multitudes, phantoms of nothingness though they know it not, await thy taking of softness and fear with particular pleasure. Come to me now, irresistible mountain, bring thy new day of barren, terrible night. Come to me, sleeping emperor, refresh thyself. Hear thy acolyte, Shagna Fang, meditate no longer in thy exile of inanimate solitude. Come laugh the conqueror's laugh that rends all asunder. Loose thy roar, full sore, that all may become omnipresent silence. Open thy great hand, man's grave, that all may see the vicissitude illuminated. Here is the map drawn by my passions. Come from the labyrinths of hell and collect thy accounts due. Take their wits and ingenuity and emblems. Take their memoirs and melancholies. Come, immutable triumph. Bring all to thy maw of annihilation, for clemency has been irrevocably damned. Come, with the ferocious tools of thy holy frenzy blazing, and overturn their vulgar wisdom. Come, lord of desolation, thy bride's despairing, bloom. O oh, swollen one, vast in thy abandonment so like a dance when the night of all nights, that perfect nothingness after thy feasting, that void as barren as the very beginning, is the all. Will you then, reclining in repose, be contented? Or will you, elemental predator, once again beset by wounding thirsts, dream of bones and dim stains upon the rocks?'